Hello Dairy Today viewers. On behalf of the Market 360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Tom Mongovan and this is your Week in Review for the week of December 14th, 2012. First, let's take a look at those dairy components. Cheese trade was lower this week, so we saw blocks and barrels each down three and a half cents. Butter, whey, and nonfat dry milk were all up on the week. We saw mixed results this week after a strong finish to the week on Friday, as far as milk goes. December was up eight cents on the week as it nears expiration. January was down 32 cents, and February was up 18 cents. The 2013 average had a strong week as well thanks again to Friday's trade and closed up 15 cents on the week to finish out at 1846. Cheese continued to drip lower this week. As far as the actual cash trade, it was actually a pretty quiet week up until Thursday when multiple sellers entered the markets in both the blocks and the barrels and they moved prices lower about 3 cents before any buyers stepped in to make purchases. The block barrel average ended up settling at 167.5 on Friday morning, and that is 3.5 cents lower on the week. Taking a look at a January milk chart, we can see that the downtrend that we've seen over the past several weeks still continues. Given the relatively strong fundamentals and the low cheese price, it is reasonable to assume that prices should form a base here and move higher. Over the latest week, cheese stocks grew 1.3 million pounds to 115.6 million pounds. We have not seen three consecutive weeks of higher trending cheese stocks since late June into mid-July. The increase over the last two weeks has been 2.7 million pounds. It is important to keep in mind that despite the increase in inventory, uh, inventory is still down 12% year over year when compared to the 131.5 million pounds in storage this same week last year. The strong slaughter numbers continue. Over the latest week ended December 1st, there was a total of 65,100 heads sent to slaughter. The prior week saw a seasonal drop due to the Thanksgiving holiday, but we have now returned to higher levels. This same week last year, slaughter was 61,000 head, or 6.7% lower than this year. Year to date, though, slaughter is still up 6.2% higher than last year, and that is a difference of about 165,000 head. Total dairy exports for the month of October totaled just under 145,000 metric tons. This is up 2.9% from September and up 2.5% year over year. Year to date, exports are up 6.3% from last year through the month of October. Specifically looking at cheese exports, they had been decreasing since June, but this month they snapped that four month losing streak and actually reported higher exports on the cheese side. Coming up next week, we do have a milk production report coming out on Wednesday. It will be interesting to see if all of these cows going to slaughter will have a negative impact on production. That will do it for us. On behalf of the Market360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, thank you for watching and have a great weekend.